Hello and welcome again to another video. Uh, in this video, I would like to talk about orthogonal projection. This is um, part of your engineering drawing computer aided design unit, and um, it's uh, chapter six in your textbook. Now, in this uh, video recording, I'm going to show you how to um, draw an orthogonal projection. So what we're basically going to see is what is third angle projection, uh, the production of a simple mechanical drawing. Now the question would be like this. You would be given a three-dimensional object that has length, breadth, and height. So uh, it would be a pictorial view. The aim is to convert that object into a two-dimensional projection. Okay, so you have a three-dimensional object, and you want to represent that in various views. So you want to show length, breadth, and height on a two-dimensional paper, and therefore you're projecting it onto various planes, and you're going to be drawing. Uh, I'm going to show you how to draw a front view, top view, and a side view. More views could be drawn, but in this uh, video, I'm only going to show you how to draw two to three views. Now, if you take um, the intersection of a, horizont a horizontal and a vertical plane, uh, you would, the result of it would be uh, four dihedral angles. I guess I'm going to name them as one, two, three, and four. Uh, when you place your object in this position here in three, in this third dihedral angle, that is called as um, third angle projection. So that's the, you place your object in the third quadrant, and the result of it would be a third angle projection. If it's placed in the first quadrant, the result of it or the projection um, achieved would be a first angle projection. So I'm going to imagine that I've got my three-dimensional object in a glass box. I guess I've got, I've got it in a glass box, and that's my horizontal plane, and that's my vertical plane, which is that one. Okay. Now, what's going to happen here is I'm going to project that onto these planes. So I'm going to project uh, the endpoints and the edges of those of that object, which is in that glass box, onto these planes. Now, because it's a transparent box, you can basically see the edges. Okay. Now, once I've projected front, top, right, and left, I'm opening up the, the box, or I'm developing the box. And as a result, I would get front view, top view, right side view, and left side view. So that's what you see here. So when you draw it on your sheet of paper, your top view is always on top. The front view is just below the top view, your right hand side view is on the right hand side of your front view, and your left hand side view is on the left hand side of your front view again. Okay, now you can draw uh, a number of other views, but for a simple object, a minimum of three views have to be drawn. So I'm only going to concentrate on uh, drawing just the front view, top view, and side view in this session. Uh, maybe in other sessions, we'll see how to draw other views. Now, to make it simple, what I've done here is I've uh, colored them um, differently. Okay, so I've got my uh, pictorial view here. So if I'm standing at this point and I'm looking at this object in this direction, that would be my front view. Now, what I've done is all the surfaces that can be seen in the front view, I've colored them dark blue. Okay, So when you're standing here and looking at this object, and you, or you project it onto a vertical plane, what you would see is this surface and this surface. So if you look at the front view here, you only see the surfaces that are blue. Now, because these surfaces are perpendicular, you don't actually see them um, in the front view. Okay. Now, if you look at the top view, so if you're standing uh, above this and you're looking at the top view, you would see only the red surfaces. So the result would be, that would be the top view. Okay, so I've color coded them each view differently so that you can um, understand better. 
Now, if you're standing on the left-hand side and you're looking at the left-hand side view, you would see only that surface and that surface. The result would be that. Okay. Now, right-hand side view, uh, we can't actually see it uh, in this picture. So, I haven't given it a color. So, basically, that would be it. Now, the only difference between um, the right-hand side and the left-hand side is uh, it's actually a mirror image. So, it's exactly the opposite. In the left-hand side view, this edge is visible. So, that edge is visible. In the right-hand side view, that's a hidden edge. So, if you're looking at it from this direction, you don't actually see that edge. And therefore, that is represented by a thin dashed line. So, that's a that's a hidden uh, representation. So, thin dashed line. So, to summarize, all visible edges are continuous thick lines. Now, again, if you're looking at this object from here in the front view, so you would see this shape. So you would see that edge, which is shown there. And you would see that surface. So you would show those edges as well. In the top view, it's an individual edge. So you again, you would see the surface. So you can see distinct and is distinct edge there. And then, of course, the whole outline. In the left-hand side view, that's like an L shape. So you would see that edge shown there. And then, of course, that surface there. In the right-hand side view, that edge is hidden. And therefore, you're showing it with a thin dash line. OK? Um, I hope you got something out of this video. Um, and that sets you off or, or gives you a start to understand how to read a drawing. Um, we will see more, uh, or we'll see more in-depth topics about this uh, in other lecture sessions. Thank you for watching.